Hello team and welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at the trim function in Excel and I'll help you understand why this can be such a powerful tool. On the left side of the screen, I have a list of employee IDs and employee names. And on the right, I want to use VLOOKUP to match the employee IDs and pull in employee names. So let's see what happens when I enter VLOOKUP and try and match up these values. I'll enter the lookup values, the employee ID. The lookup array is my table on the left. I'll make this absolute so that when I shift it down, the formula still works. The column I'm returning is two, and I'll use an exact match. You'll notice after entering in this function, I get an error message of NA for three of the values, even though it appears they match. Having had this occur many times using Excel with different functions, I know that one of the common issues could be extra spaces in the cells where the employee ID, which is the value I'm matching, is stored. Taking a closer look, you can see there's an extra space here in this cell with the first employee ID. Clicking into the cell below, you'll see there's actually an extra space after the value. And the same thing is occurring for this value, Z126, a little bit further down. When trying to match values, Excel interprets the ID Z123 and space Z123 as being different, and so it will not consider it a match. Thankfully, Excel gives us the trim function, which allows us to easily remove leading and trailing spaces from the contents of a cell. So in column A, I'll copy the employee ID column name. I'll enter equals trim. And then for the text field, which is the argument I need to include, I'll highlight the employee IDs and hit enter. Now, just to keep the same setup, I'll replace column B with the new values. I'll highlight the values of column A, click Control-C to copy, right-click in the first row of column B, and paste as values. And team, check it out. You'll notice the employee names auto-corrected once the correct employee IDs without leading or trailing spaces were input into column B. Before we wrap up, let me show you one additional tip regarding the trim function. As I mentioned before, trim will help you remove leading or trailing spaces from the contents of a cell. So let's take a look at what happens when I use the trim function on these employee names that have both leading and trailing spaces. I'll enter equals trim. For the text fields, I'll highlight the employee names and click enter. And check it out, Excel is smart enough to know that we want to remove, again, the leading or trailing spaces but you'll notice that the space between first and last name is retained. I hope you enjoyed this tip today. Please like and subscribe to the channel and leave comments about additional tips you'd like to see covered.